three. Let me let's just hop out. So, why does this Asian three pop up on that? Mm -hmm. Even though, like he ain't laughing none. Want the badge? Think he's a little What did you say? <laughs> Clan match? Like what? On gears. Oh, 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 gears. Oh. Gotcha. I'm rapping, I'm rapping. Oh no, you got that. Nice. Huh? All right. I right, asked you. Nice. No, just. Ah, uh, uh, hey, you missed. You missed. He missed. He sold. He sold. Let's go. Let's go. Mm, let's go. Yeah, that do be getting annoying. I, I've had that happen too. Corner. Too late. Nice. YouTube, yeah, what's good with y'all, man? This came doing, so I'm coming back with another video for y'all. And this one, y'all already saw in the intro, y'all saw in the first minute, 30 seconds of the video. Found it. Getting back to my final form, I'm finally getting back to it. Uh, this is something I've been, been labbing a lot. Getting right, figuring out how to find the shooting on this game, finding that perfect jump shot, getting my phase right. And you already see I'm on the screen right now. So, second like the title, like the best fade by far to me already has been green. You see the clips, and it's plenty of that. Like from the red clips, that was a 56 point gameplay right there. I could have added more, but I kept it short and sweet and just wanted just showing the greens and just showing like what's open and what's not. The biggest thing to me that I've been seeing on TikTok, Twitter, like literally everywhere with 2K23, people say that I doesn't work. I can show a compilation of Dead Eye working just off of a couple of strings once I figured out the jump shot I needed to use, the fade packages I needed to use, and we upgrading, we getting better, we getting up there, so this is all a part of just labbing and all that. Uh, the best part about this video, this will also be linked as under my six and uh, jump shot video when people ask for the jump shot, the fades, it's gonna be, this video is gonna be linked under all that. So if you coming over here from Twitch, like I appreciate you showing the love, typing in that command and seeing what I'm using. So this is the screen right here. The fade, the fade that I'm doing is Trey Young. That's, I'll never come off of this. Uh, another good one is normal though. A lot of my people use normal and they be greening. It's the good one, but Trey Young is for me. That's what I, that's what you were seeing like green the most in the compilation clips in the beginning. The fade that I do, you don't hold right trigger though. As you're leaning, dribbling lateral on the court, left or right, you don't want to hold a right trigger at all. Right trigger R2, don't hold it. You're not going to do the fade that I was doing. It has a bigger green window that's easier to cue, to time release, all that. That's going to green. Trey Young dribble pull up, that is the one that I use. Now, as for my jump shot, literally found this yesterday and I was just experimenting. And this, this is what's working for me right now. Allen Iverson base. I'm also 6'3, so if you're tall, if you're over, was it 6'6 six, six or taller, you can't, I don't think you can get Allen Iverson. This is what I'm using. This is what's been consistent for me. I was able to find, I, I, I just knew I wanted release speed and defensive immunity, A. Plus. Those two, in my opinion, have to be A. Plus. Release height uh, is, of course, you shooting over people, so some of those shots you can get off, but it's a lesser contest. 
based off your release height, of course. The biggest thing is time and impact. Lamelo base is what I was using for, for like for most of the part. Most of my games, I was using Lamelo ball base, but his time and impact is way too low, and that plays a huge part. C minus is below average. You don't want no below average shot attributes at all. So we found one, Allen Iverson base, B minus. Once again, if you coming over, click this video and you found it here. Uh, from the command, the jump shot command. Here you go from here you go from Twitch, man. I appreciate y'all. And I guess what's left to show would be my badge setup, which isn't even where it needs to be yet, which is the scary part. Looking at the clips and looking at what I was greening, the contest I was greening. But like I was saying, man, the biggest thing to me is that dead eye, dead eye and blind is, is scary. It's scary to have both of those. And this year it just feels like everything just works. So yes, I do have all my badges. Yes, I am a 98 overall. I have them all. This is with the plus four. I added the plus four to my shooting. So traditionally is this build is 525, 26, 18, but I added the plus four to shooting, which is definitely needed. But that's my finishing right there. Uh, perfect for the layers. I've been greening some tough layers sometimes. I'm not gonna say I'm consistent with it, but it's good to have when you don't have no finishing on your build. But this is it right here. This is it. This is what I use. This is what's been working for me. Uh, I'm literally only using Green Machine because I'm gonna be able to core Hall of Fame pretty soon. This would be a separate video right here of me explaining the core, the core badges, and definitely don't mind doing that. But this is all that I'm using these six shooting badges literally, and it's it's all situational. They all pop up. Uh, every shot you take, every shot you green, at least four badges will pop up. Consistently, well, you got volume shooter, green machine when you green, of course, Asian three, and then blinders and dead eye or dead eye. But sometimes blinders or and dead eye pops up at the same time, which is insane to me because dead eye is usually when they're running straight at you, and blinders is any other peripheral, any other like angle that they run at you. But in this game, I've been seeing, I literally have clips of blinders and dead eye popping up at the same time, and that is wicked because dead eye is only bronze for one. But as you can see, the challenges, the core challenges, Agent 3 is the closest one that I'll get. That's definitely the closest one. I already have bronze completed, so I could core that. But I want to keep I want to keep it because Go Agent 3 has been good to me. That's a huge reason that I've been greening like I have. It's a big, bigger green one though. I can tell the difference from using it and from not using it, of course. And of course, like once I'm able to core Go, you already know where it's going, bro. <laughs> it's going to go limitless. I already know where it's going. So this build is our is the 90, 98 overall. I got all the badges and it's not even done yet. It's not even where it needs to be yet. And I'm literally just going to core Agent 3 and put it on gold limitless. It's fun. This build is going to be insane. And I just can't I just can't wait till I get to that point, bro. Like pretty much after this video, after y'all see this, I'm a, like I'm already be working on it. One of the fastest methods in my opinion for me it has been park and wreck. Uh, it does it does kind of go up a little bit in my career but i feel like they tax you like you don't get as much and i feel like to fill up the core challenge meter it's just you activating the badge it's just you literally doing that perfect example is when i was using amp and i don't i literally have no progress using amp and i feel like how you trigger amp is completely being fatigued running out of stamina you have to be blinking and you have to be able to score while blinking for this badge to trigger so while the description is good. It's very situational as as to you being blink as to you blinking and you actually using the badge. And that's what I, and that's what amp is for. Cause it's pretty much Tyler's score from back in the day, from 2K17. And that's what Tyler's score did. I hope this video was very informational for some of y'all. Uh if you struggling shooting, because I was definitely struggling shooting like crazy. The what's today? September 14th. Bro, I was going through it. I was down bad. I damn near cried on stream <laughs> because like it, it just it sent me back to 21 Courage in with the hot spots and the hot zones, and it it was bad. Bro, I was going through it. It was bad. I have been streaming. I've been streaming a lot. Uh, so uh, if you, this is just me scrolling through my rest of my badges. Uh, quick first step. Hall of Fame is a must. It's instant. That loud is really good. I like Clamp Breaker a lot. You see the different animations of you getting getting yourself back in position and controlling your person and avoid getting ripped. Uh, it also, it goes hand in hand with Unpluckable, of course. 
uh, Dimer. Dimer is wicked. You literally can see the, your teammates that use shot meters. You literally can see the green window expand when you pass someone for a full second. And I love that. I love that so much. Uh, and this is my defense. We just got Hall of Fame Interceptor. Interceptor is wicked on this game. I'm pretty much about to core this, and I'll probably put that. I probably put that on Challenger, honestly. If the Challenger the clamps, I got to see what it see what it's hitting for, for sure. But it probably, probably be Challenger, honestly, because I can get that silver. I wish I can get silver clamps, but I don't get that, which is all good. Oh, we still experiment, man. So, like I said, I hope this video was inf was very information, like. So, like I was saying, I hope this video is very informational for y'all. Um, I got to see the jump shot that I use. This is perfect for, for people asking for it in the Switch chat. Uh, y'all yeah, get to see a fade that I use. Also perfect for the Switch chat. And it will just be that command for you guys uh, that want to know. And it will send you straight to this video. Uh, same with the series. If you wanted to see the series that I use, you can go back and see that. That's all there. Literally, all, all the signatures is all there. Uh, Man, just just get back at me. I've been trying to get back consistent with this YouTube thing. Uh, just just appreciate the love I've been receiving on Twitch for real. So I got to pick it back up on YouTube and dropping videos like this, just showing showing the footage, showing that proof first, and then talking to y'all, uh, letting y'all know what I'm thinking, uh, what it is that I'm doing, what it is that I'm using. Like that's that's what we getting back into with YouTube, y'all. So. I appreciate y'all. Drop a like on the video new, if you're new. Definitely show love subscribing. He knows, man. I'm out, y'all. Peace.